It's day number two here of Skyblock, and we have got a lot to do, including announcing whether we're going to be having a solo or team island this season, and lots, lots more. Let's get right into today's episode. Yes, hello, everybody, and welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Skyblock. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC, the best Skyblock server out there. Guys, today, we are going to be jumping straight into our second day here of the Skyblock season, the brand new season. If you guys do want to come and play Skyblock, then I would recommend that you guys come and join me right here on Akuma MC using the IPR in the top middle this is a brand new season that literally launched just a few days ago so if you guys want to get ahead and you want to get you know a nice quick start here then now is the perfect time and i'm going to be announcing today that we are in fact going to go ahead and have a team based island this season so you know what that means first of all that means that our island needs to improve massively from what we've got going on right here second of all it means that i need to recruit a whole bunch of you guys to join the island so i'm going to be like letting you guys know exactly how you can join the island here in today's episode. So between now and last episode, I farmed this farm a couple times. I've uh, grinded up an XP grinder and got myself 70 levels. And we've got ourselves a farming book here that we can actually go ahead and use. Now, all of this is crucial for today's video because actually we needed this farming book massively to try and get the gardener enchant, I believe it's called. And the reason we need that is because essentially if we right now break any unbroken crops on this farm, it would actually go ahead and like pull it out the ground. It won't replant and we'll actually have to sit there and manually replant it, which we don't really want to do. We want to be farming at the maximum efficiency like we are right here, um, but we don't need to worry. Like we, we need to not have to worry about whether the crops are like fully grown before I break them because otherwise we're going to be, I don't know, we're going to be delaying our farming process a whole lot and we don't want to do that. So that's the idea of today is to get that enchant going on my hoe. So Hopefully we do get lucky out of our enchant book because we only really have one chance to do it today. I've noticed that like farming books aren't common at all. They're actually very, very hard to get hold of by the looks of it. So yeah, we're kind of relying on the one that I have in my inventory. And if that doesn't go to plan, then we'll have to figure out something else. But yes, guys, I will be assembling a team for my Skyblock Island, okay? And this is where I'm really going to need you guys to, uh, to come through and clutch up, okay? Because I'm looking for just the best Skyblock players, okay? The absolute best who are going to, you know, know come on with me absolutely grind the heck out of this season and be prepared to become one of the top islands here on the server now if you guys don't really know about how it works then there is like a reward system for the top islands on the server that actually get gift card balances every single week i believe it is now obviously because i'm partnered with akuma and i i get kind of access to uh store items and stuff i don't take any of the gc out of that pot so whatever my island members grind up get they get to kind of share between them so there are massive perks into uh into joining the island and you know being one of the top grinders and getting ourselves on the is top so don't you guys worry there's going to be huge rewards for it but i am looking for the best of the best so for right now i'm going to be taking on four applicants okay for my island we're going to be looking for four island members which will probably expand in the future because i think the maximum is like six or something but essentially, I'm going to be looking for four people right now to join my island literally this week in the next like two or three days. So if you want to be in with a chance to join my island and coming out and grinding to be one of the top islands here on Akuma, then you guys need to go ahead and use the form that is down in the description. OK, it'll be linked down there. I'll try and put a card on screen as well so that you can click that. Fill that out. Get that filled in and uh, just complete all of the like questions on there. It's just going to ask you a little bit about like game time and stuff. And then I will contact successful applicants on Discord. So make sure you have your Discord DMs open and uh, you might get a message. As I said, I really want to get this established in the next couple of days here. This isn't something which I want to wait out. I want to get this done because we are we're already a couple days behind here getting started, really. So uh, I'd like to, you know, catch up as soon as possible and get this island up there. So yes, I hope to see a whole bunch of applicants there and uh, good luck to you guys making it through. And I will speak to obviously the successful applicants very, very soon. Now, if you did miss episode number one, then we're carrying the giveaway over to this one and we're adding something a little extra to it. So if you guys want to be in with the chance of winning the top rank or $100 gift card here on the server, you guys can enter on this video or the last one. All you guys need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your username and then uh, join the giveaways only discord link down below in the description and also connect to the server using my ip you need to press the join button in like the discord giveaways that way you're entered and then i'm going to be creating a separate one just for this video that is uh, uh basically a start of the world crate or whatever the crate is called 
or cluster. I, I don't even know what it's called. I think it's a cluster. Um, yeah, we're going to be giving one of those away extra. So there will be an extra little giveaway in there. You can enter that top rank giveaway either on this video or the last one. Now, let's get into exactly what we actually wanted to do today. So we need to go ahead and try and uncover this farming book right here. So essentially, we're hoping to get Gardener. If we take a look at enchants right here, um, you guys will see that on our, not on our pickaxe, on our hoe, we should be able to get an enchant called, I think it's Gardener. Yeah, Gardener right here. So max level is one. We literally need one level of it. And essentially what it does is it just stops those crops from breaking if they're not fully grown. So let's go to the enchanter. Let's hope that we can go ahead and unlock the enchant which we're looking for. Trouble is, is I just don't know how successful we're going to be with this little part. Let's find out. We do not get what we're looking for. That is very, very unfortunate. That book is seeming to be like super rare. I don't know. I don't know whether it is rare or whether I'm just freaking, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, I feel like they don't, I don't know. They're, they're not really around. Like if we go on the AH and stuff, there's, oops, that's my listings. There's never really, um, there's never really enchant listings on here, at least for uh, like farming books and stuff. Let's take a look. So there is a gardener book actually on here for 2.5 million. Um, that is like the first one that I've seen for a while. So we might actually see if I can nab that off of someone. Look, let's see. Yeah, so there are a couple of farming books on here, but look how like expensive they are. 11 million. I don't know how we can get 11 million right like, straight off the bat here. Um, maybe if I could work out how to get it, I would actually rather buy these 10 farming books here because they'd be a lot more uh, like useful to us. So I don't know. Maybe we'll wait to see whether we can do that at a later point in today's episode. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, we did not get the enchant that we were looking for. Now, while opening my kits and stuff last, uh, or I believe in between last video and now, actually, I did actually manage to get myself two epic airdrops. So we're going to go ahead and drop those in, see what we can get out of these. And uh, hopefully they're going to be something new. So we're going to get a bunch of money there, pet eggs as well. We'll take the pet eggs. We don't really have a pet set up as of right now. So anything like this, we will absolutely take. We'll take all of that. Let's just unbox all of these, I guess, and see what we can get. We are obviously looking for higher tiers of pet. We do get a key finder pet right there, uh, a holy ex excavator pet, and a common one. Yeah, so we're not really getting very rare pets here. Let's try this last pet egg that we've got available to us. Then I do actually have a bunch of keys saved up because I believe I was on for a key all. And uh, yeah, we need to open those because, I mean, right now at this point in the season, all of them are going to help. So let's get all of these open. There's going to be a whole bunch of spawners and stuff that come through here. Now, we don't necessarily need all the spawners that it's going to give me, but I've just kind of got them all like as a possible reward anyway, just in case. Um, You, know, you never kind of know when you're going to need the spawners. So we'll take all the spawners we can get right now. We're going to need to make a storage system here very, very soon as well because it looks like everything is starting to fill up. Not a bad thing. It just means it's something that we're going to have to add to the list of things to do we've got plenty of things that we do need to do and one of those includes what we're actually going to be doing today and that's setting up a uh setting up an actual like viable spawner because this one's cool and everything but it doesn't really do too much for me cool, so we got a couple of extra spawners there which we can actually add to the blaze spawners and everything as well um obviously last episode we did actually get ourselves a mining robot and a grinding robot so we might be setting those kind of farms up very very soon here but obviously, because I've got our whole island coming on board, I don't want to go too crazy because they might have better ideas than me because... I mean, realistically, I didn't didn't like uh, I'm not I'm not the most hardcore player, but, you know, I do I do know a thing or two here and here and there. So we'll have to. Uh, yeah, we'll have to kind of combine ideas there and see what we want to do. So one of our quests is to actually enchant an item at Warp Enchanter. Now, here's the thing is like we've got that Crop Crusher book, but I don't really want to enchant it. And the reason why is because this thing could actually sell for a lot. So what I might do is I might see if I could sell this book right now and um, like just get the money straight up for that. Maybe I can then buy the books which I'm after, but I'm thinking that it might be worth selling this because I don't think we're going to be like realistically in a position to use this for a little while. All right, so this guy is going to be uh, buying my Crop Crusher book right here for 6 million, which actually sets me up in a perfect place to buy the book in which I need, which is, uh, I guess, ideal, really. So let's trade that over there. I might see if anyone is uh, selling Gardener for cheaper because I feel like 2 million is very steep considering this was 6 million. Um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to kind of work that out one. So thank you to Cookie right there. Let's see if anyone is selling a Gardener book. Because that would then get my enchant challenge done as well, which I think will move us on to like mining, uh, like mining things. And I, that's kind of what I want to do right now. Oh, this guy says he has one for me. Let's see uh, how much does he want for it. I'm 
I'm assuming people do want money for everything at this point in the season. Like, I, I don't know. People like to give me stuff for free. I want to pay for it, bro. I go oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you if you insist, I'll take it, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to say no. I appreciate this right here. This is huge. Thank you so much, Real Toys. Um, This is going to help me out. Oh, okay. We, I will, hold on here. We got a whole bunch of books. We'll take all of these. These are great right now. I don't really have any enchants. So this is uh, this is perfect, actually. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Nice little, nice little island we got going on here. This actually kind of reminds me of one of my, like, OG freaking Skyblock Islands. This is cool. I like that. All right, let's go to Warp Enchanter. Let's get this challenge done. Let's hope that we succeed the Gardener Enchant. It's going to suck if we don't uh, because we do really kind of need it right now. So let's try it. What level is 28 XP levels? 87%. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> hope it succeeded i think it yeah it did all right perfect there we go so now we got to get our farming skill to level three i think we might already be i think we might already be there let's just double check that but now it doesn't even matter really what we're farming because we can just go crazy on this and uh, it won't break things that we don't need to all right quest complete there as well place the airdrop we just got as the next quest easily done a lots of pouches and stuff coming in here as well we'll take that let's open the airdrop very, very nice rewards coming out of this as well. Lots of money there. We just got an ultimate airdrop out of that as well. That's huge. This ultimate airdrop can give me some pretty cool things. You get a lot of money out of that one. Lots of keys and stuff. We'll take it. We'll take it. We got a couple of pet eggs as well. Not bad at all. Cool. Good little starting uh, starting point right there. What is the next challenge? Uh, place a chunk hopper. I guess we can just place this one down. We don't really need to do anything with it. Uh, place three pig spawners. One, two, three. Boom, there we go. Just get all of these easy challenges done right now. We don't really need to... Oh, kill 100. Okay, so we do actually have to kill them. Okay, so that's fine. That will just let them chill right there. Let me get the pig spawners, which we just got from our keys as well. Let them kind of spawn in so that I can grind those out. And then we will be good. So yeah, I do want to get into mining today. And the reason why is, I'll explain right now, is basically on our IS perks list, we have a whole bunch of different things which we can do to get different levels up on certain things. But our island size, we actually have to mine 10,000 blocks. And island size is kind of one of the most critical things to get past. So I do want to do this like sooner rather than later. Um, I want to get that going because our island honestly isn't that big right now. And we could do with it being a lot bigger because we got a lot of big farms to be making and spawners and freaking robot like places and stuff as well. So yeah, we got a lot to do. Um, There's lots of expansion that needs to happen, but obviously all of this will be a lot easier once I've uh, recruited my island members. So again, make sure you guys go fill out that form if you haven't. Thankfully, I did get saved a little bit with the like um, with the top rank, with the legend rank. You actually get like a kit that gives you kind of a partially enchanted sword and hoe and everything like that. So we actually have a whole bunch of uh, like different tools and stuff that actually kind of got a little bit of a head start on them. They're nothing crazy. None of them are like um, insane and you definitely still need to add to literally all of them. But they kind of do the job to get us started with the like starting sword and everything of like level one is completely useless when it comes to like grinding mobs. So I'm glad that I got this one at least because it does do a little bit more damage. I got to make sure I continually like open all my crate keys as well, because honestly, the pig spawners being like one of the more common items to get out of them is, is something that we actually really need right now, because these pig spawners aren't actually uh, like these pigs aren't spawning in that quickly. So the more of these little big spawners I can get right now, the better. Now, I would usually at right this second build like a beacon to get a like strength two boost so that we could one shot these animals. But to be honest, I think I'll probably end up moving my like island around a lot. So I don't know if it's worth placing that just yet. Um, so I'm going to hold off just for now. But I yeah, just is worth noting that if you guys are doing like a similar setup here, and to like i am but you can go ahead and place a beacon down get it like maxed out into strength two and this would be a one here right here I feel like mobs do spawn a lot slower this season i don't know whether that's just like a i don't know like a a, a friggin effect that's going on my brain i don't i honestly don't know uh we just got a mythic holy chopper pet the only problem is is we're not really we haven't done like um the foresting or whatever it's called in a long time we got a holy harpoon pet we haven't done fishing yet either Let's take a look at the normal pets that we've got here. Bookfinder, common. We are yet to get like a good tier of like regular pet. Let's see what this one could be. Skill pet. This would be huge if it was good. Uh, rare. Honestly, we'll take it and we'll just like, uh, we'll activate it for right now just because it will do better than not having a pet at all. Um, but yeah, we do want to get some better higher tier pets going soon. All right, quest complete. Technically, the next one should auto complete as well because we have grinding over 3000. Then I think we just have to do grinding actions, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see how many it needs me to do here. Um, 2,000 grinding actions. We're actually not too far off of that, I don't think. Let's take a look. 
Yeah, we're not too far off that. Now, what I am going to do to do that is I think I'm going to go to someone else's island that already has like the beacons and everything going so that we can like insta kill mobs just so that it goes a little bit quicker. All right, here we go. Let's use this blaze farm over here. I'm going to get this challenge done real quick. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we should be coming up very quickly on these grinding actions right here. And then we will be good to go to start on the mining section. Um, I don't know where we'll get to mining today because I don't really know like the speed of how quickly we're going to be able to mine. So yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to kind of gauge that and see where we'll get to today. But hopefully we'll be able to get somewhat near unlocking a new island size. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to figure that one out. All right, there we go. Quest complete. That is what we needed to do. Sell five thousand uh, dollars worth of items in slash sell hand. Um, we can do that pretty easily. I don't think we really even needed to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have saved that stuff right there. That, that probably would have been a advisable thing to do. But that's okay. I think if I just do a quick loop of this farm, it might do what we need it to do, and then we might be good. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this puts in my inventory. Tell that. Yes, there we go. All right, perfect. So now we've got to go to the mine world using slash mine. We already kind of know where this is going right here. It's basically going to tell me to mine a whole bunch of ore in here. We will uh, we will just have to see how long this is going to actually take me because I, I genuinely don't know. It might end up taking me an absolute age, in which case it won't be finished today. But uh, who, who the heck knows? Let's start this. Let's see what my pickaxe is like. Thankfully, this is like the legend pickaxe. So it's not like the worst of the worst. It's also very much not the best. So, uh, yeah, we're going to we have to just kind of play this uh, by ear and see how it goes. But it's uh, I don't know. It's not looking too horrible right now, but I can still imagine a thousand blocks at this kind of pace will uh, will still take us a little while here. All right. We've already uh, moved up into the iron mine, which I guess is a little bit of progress right there. It was only five levels into the mining skill, so not uh, not anything massive there. Um, obviously, these skills and everything are stuff which I have to do solo anyway. Like they're not island, uh, they're not island progressions. So it's all uh, this is all down to me right here. And these skills are absolutely valuable. We are going to need them as the season goes on because it's going to be kind of our number one way of getting like insane rewards throughout the season, um, rather than like using crates and stuff like that. This is going to uh, give me a whole bunch of like top tier spawners, a whole bunch of block tickets. And if you guys remember the economy, then block tickets pretty much run the entire economy. Like if you have a a bunch of block ticket income then you are essentially rich uh so yeah this is uh this is definitely something which we need to focus on uh probably earlier rather than later so this is not a bad time to do it at all plus we got to do it for our island expansion anyway so it's um you know it's kind of a win-win nearly already done on that 1k blocks challenge obviously it was 10,000 that we've got to mine for that island expansion so we won't be hitting that today but thankfully that is obviously an island based challenge so um that means that we will uh once we get some more island members in here if everyone's mining which they probably will be anyway to get their like skill levels up then theoretically our island should uh should start to get that progress done as well so yeah that's kind of the way i look at it we'll have to see whether that actually uh you know becomes a reality i'm sure it will but yeah i, I don't know maybe, maybe no one's mining that is also another possibility no one might be mining maybe it's not meta this season maybe there's no point in it i don't know we'll have to the, the, these are all things which we'll figure out pretty quickly as soon as we got a whole like team together all right that is one quest done and now i made the same mistake there of uh going ahead and selling my ores as i was going which is a terrible mistake because now it wants me to sell 1,500 ores. So we've actually got a long way to go before we can uh, complete that one. I'm wondering though, is it a thing? Can I buy ores from the shop? I don't remember if I can. No, you can't. Dang it. That would have been honestly the biggest cheat code. Do you think Prismarine would count? I honestly don't know. Maybe maybe it would. Wait, let's try this. Uh, this is this is going to be a, a painful test, but I'm thinking it might work. Let's, let's take a look here. Let's just buy a whole bunch of that. That was very expensive for what it was. Let's just um just to see this real quick. So if I do slash quest, which is what it is, um, let's see. 4,308. No, 4,438. Wow, I can't even freaking count. I should add another 200 if that counts. Okay, it counts. All right. Well, we're gonna do that. It's a terrible way of doing it. We're gonna spend a lot of money doing this, but you know what? It's uh it's a quicker way of doing it. I will probably come to regret that, but you know what? If it's gonna get my challenge done quicker, then we'll take it. It is what it is. Um, at the end of the day. So let's just buy a couple more stacks. There we go. Challenge complete. Um, I know that we're soon. We're not gonna really be worrying too much about our money. So um, yeah. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. It does get a couple of challenges done though, because that needs yeah that one automatically done. Mine 2,500 blocks in the mine world there we go that's one that i was uh expecting because we can't exactly skip over that one there is not really a way to do it i don't know whether that starts from like a counter from like now or whether that counts like my entire amount of blocks mined 
I would imagine it's right now. Let's just check in here to confirm. Yeah, it was from uh, the second that it said. So that's something which we're going to be able to complete over time. I'm not going to do that right now because 2,500 blocks with this kind of a pickaxe is a little bit of an ask. We'll have to, um, yeah, we'll have to go away, add some like efficiency enchants so that we're pretty much insta mining, and then that'll be a pretty breezable challenge. The thing about mining though is you do get a lot of books while you're doing it. Like we have six mining books right there, which is not bad at all. If we now actually go to the enchanter, let's see if we can get any like efficiency based books here just to just to help us out a little bit because I could do with uh, getting those up as soon as possible here. We will go with efficiency. We got precise mining as an option as well. Those are kind of the two which we want to be focusing on early here. So if we can get those to keep coming up, that is great. I don't know how many max efficiency is. I believe it would be five, but we'll see. Let's get a precise mining there. Let's just apply these um, regular efficiencies here in a second, and then we'll be able to tell what is going to be good. We'll take the turbo mining right there. Yeah, let's uh, let's apply that real quick and just see whether that is going to be like the max level here. Boom. Uh, let's go one more, and then that should tell me whether it's going to be maxed or not. It's 51 levels there. Expensive, expensive. All right, is that maximum efficiency? Let's see. Oh, I don't have another book for it to tell me. I, I guess we can just go and do slash enchants. I think it tells us in here um we're looking for efficiency yeah max five okay perfect so we got that maxed out already so we're now just looking really for the uh the other book which was precise mining so these are the ones that we're looking for now from memory though these are super expensive to enchant so we'll have to keep an eye on and so is turbo mining apparently to get uh this turbo mining up to level four it would cost us 92 XP levels right now. So yes, very expensive. I'd like to get this precise mining up as soon as possible as well, because if we can get that maxed out, then we are going to be in a very, very nice place. So let's just see now, what can we do with this precise mining? Can we afford it? 53 levels, not bad. And it is successful as well. So what do we have now? We have precise mining two, efficiency five. Let's go to the mine again, just to quickly see whether that makes a like an immediate difference on my efficiency. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty much insta break now. I am imagining like if I run, it probably isn't. But um, you just go inside to side like that was perfectly fine. It worked great. I mean, even running about actually, it's pretty much an insta break. So that will make our journey so much easier. We will not have to worry too much about that anymore. So yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a good off camera grind for me. Cool. So I will work on that between now and next episode. Right now, though, we don't really have the worst little collection of uh, enchants going. Let's just go ahead and chuck away some uh, or put all these books away in to here i think i just saw we got a yeah a rebirth mining but we might be able to sell that as of right this second there's not really much that we could do with that so that might be worth uh that might be worth a sell at some point here soon oh well i do still need to set up a spawner but i think that's going to be one for another day i don't really have a necessary in like a necessarily immediate need for that other than my grinding robot so i think next episode we'll make sure we set up our grinding and mining robots little thing that we have going we kind of know the ways to do that and the best ways for it so we will get on to that but that is going to be where i end off today's episode there's a lot of progress there we will now gather some island members together and get this thing going for reals uh so yeah if you guys do want to join then make sure you go ahead and fill out that form that is going to be it for me today though i hope that you have enjoyed this episode if you have do hit that like button for me it'd be much appreciated if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button as well like 90 percent of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed so just just check just check for me and if you're not click that button it really means a lot guys that is going to be it from me today i hope that you have enjoyed and i will see you all in the next episode of skyblock here on akuma mc <laughs>